They're both Pegasi, both have the same main style with different colors all throughout, they have similar personalities, and even their eyes are identical down to the eyelashes. The resemblance between Rainbow Dash and Daring Do is striking, but my question is, why do they look so similar? <laughs> Daring Dew is basically a recolor of Rainbow Dash. The only big differences between the two are their cutie marks and their color palettes. It's obvious that the character Daring Dew was modeled after Rainbow Dash, but it's pretty uncanny that they would look so similar. I mean, what are the chances? There's gotta be some connection. Perhaps Daring Dew, aka AK Yearling, was inspired by Rainbow Dash and modeled herself accordingly. Well, this doesn't work, cause if Rainbow Dash was an inspiration to her, Yearling probably wouldn't have avoided her like she did. And we know for a fact that Rainbow Dash didn't get her style from Daring Do. She wouldn't even pick up a Daring Do book before Season 2. Even if the similarities were a matter of inspiration, that still wouldn't account for their personalities, their eyes, and wings. I had this theory that explains this problem very well. Keyword, had. Not long after I had figured out the details, the theory was busted. But I might as well tell you what it was. In this theory, the character of Daring Do doesn't actually look like this. As Rainbow Dash was reading the Sapphire Stone, she simply imagined herself as the protagonist, with slight changes. It's definitely not a stretch for Rainbow Dash to assume the hero is just like herself. So when Twilight read the book, she would imagine a totally different Daring Do. Right off the bat, you're probably thinking about the events of Daring Don't. If Daring Do was just how Rainbow Dash imagined her, then why does she look the same in person? Well, who says the events of Daring Don't actually happened? Bear with me here, in this theory, Daring Don't was just a daydream, Rainbow Dash imagining herself into the world of Daring Do. A fanfiction, if you will. Now, as crazy as this theory sounds, it would explain more than just why the two look alike. First of all, this could be why no other pony drew this connection, even when Daring Do and Rainbow Dash were right next to each other. But mainly this. Look at the Season 4 episode, Tragia. This theory would also explain why Rainbow Dash was so desperate to get her signed first edition copy of the Sapphire Statue. Wait, wasn't it just called the Sapphire Stone? Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, if Rainbow Dash was friends with the celebrity in question, then why would she be so desperate over a signed item if she could just take a regular first edition of the book and have it signed personally? In Treja, it's as if the events of Daring Do never actually happened, even though chronologically it took place after. You see how this solves the problem? Well, I'm about to drop the bomb that crushes this theory to pieces. The Daring Do book covers. So Daring Do's appearance is canon, even if you ignore Daring Don't. Well, um, what else could explain why they look so similar? Clones, changelings, and alternate universe? Perhaps they were long-lost twins separated at birth. I don't know. Honestly, I got nothing. Unless the covers of the books are somehow made of psychic paper, which I find hard to believe, it looks like we're back where we started. But that's the great thing about this community. While I have no ideas as to why this could be, someone watching this video might have a sound explanation. So tell me in the comments your ideas, and maybe we can figure something out. I'm looking forward to reading what you guys have to say. Until then, this is the Brony Notion, signing out until next Wednesday. Brohoof.